Zechariah chapter number 3. He showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing in his right hand to resist him. Be well known. When you want to do what God wants you to do, you'll have him standing by your side, and right next to you, you'll have Satan standing by your side. And the Lord said unto Satan, Now we don't know if Joshua could see this. This is told to Zechariah. And Zechariah is writing. And Satan said to, the Lord said to Satan. Isn't it interesting? We got a holy Bible, yet we have God and Satan having conversation together. Job 1 and 2 says that Satan walks up to God's throne and accuses the brethren. You know what comfort I get? In Revelation 12, I will witness in heaven the day that Satan is cast out by Michael and his angels and will never return again. Now picture this. We, we, we know a few Christians that just went to heaven, the glory, within the week and within the month. Imagine they're up there praising God and all that, and they're just thanking God. Everyone, and all of a sudden, <gasps> what is that? What? Well, that's Satan. You Christians realize when we get the glory absent from the body present with the Lord that you will see Satan in heaven? I mean, yeah, in heaven. See, I'm, I'm going to say it, you know, hold what you said. You're going to make a mistake. To say that Satan's going to be in heaven is like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Am I saying it right? He's going to be there. And he's not kicked out to Revelation 12. So if you were to die now or soon, before the rapture. Don't be shocked to realize there he will be in glory. And the Bible also records in Revelation 12 that one third of his angels are still there. I'm going to New Jerusalem where Satan will have already been cast in the lake of fire. And those that have sinned and rejected Jesus Christ. The Lord rebuked the old Satan. No, Zechariah didn't rebuke him. Uh, Joshua didn't re rebuke him. I sat under preachers. Oh, smutty face. And, you know, I sat under preachers like that. And their lives are ruined. You got Satan in your life? Say, Lord, you take care of him. I can't. And there's no recording of Joshua saying nothing. We don't know if he even knows. Something, we'll see. The Lord rebuked the old saying, Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Amos 4.11 Satan is in silence. He says nothing. Now Joshua is clothed with filthy garments. That's what I am. Isaiah says, our righteousness is filthy rags. And this, and stood before the angel. Now they knew, they saw angels. Lot saw angels. So he may have seen the angel. But I don't know if he saw Satan. I'm trying to think if anybody in the Bible, man, ever saw Satan. Eve, but that was through the serpent. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee. So see, it's the reference to the garments being the iniquity, the filth. How do you stand before God in dress? Are you dressed in royalty as a child of the king? Or as you dress as a bum living underneath a, a bridge somewhere? Or do you not even dress in, as a whore dancing on a pole? In the eyes of God, how do you look? Joshua was filthy. 
And then when God told him, okay, change his clothes, Joshua did not fight. Joshua acknowledged his filth and said, okay, change. You know, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee. I will clothe thee with change of raiment. Isaiah 55, 6 through 8. Amos 5, 4 through 6. God cleanses after repentance. And I said, let them sit. Now, this is Zechariah speaking. Let them set a fair mitre upon his head. So they set a fair mitre upon his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. Exodus 39, 30, 28, 36 to 38. That was that little title that, that the high priest wore. I think it said holiness to the Lord. He wasn't wearing it. Zacharias steps and says, hey, put that mitre on his head. He's the high priest. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, if thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou keep my charge works, and shall also judge my house, and shall, imagine somebody walking up to Joshua and say, judge not least ye be judged. God told him to judge. And shall also keep my courts, that be the temple, and all the rooms. I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. See the works? Where did it where did God promise Joshua heaven? He didn't promise him heaven. He said, if you do what I what I tell you to do, and you do what you're supposed to do, I'll let you walk in this temple. How's that? That's a physical piece of land. Not heaven to a Jew. Now I spoke about that before. Jews are not looking for heaven. They want land. Hear now, O Joshua the high priest. So now that Joshua's listening, and Joshua got right, God's going to give him some revelations and speaking. See, you can't come to the Bible in filthy clothes and expect God to bless you. You can't come to God in your sins and expect to get revelation. And thy fellows that sit before thee, if they are men, wondered at. Fellows, men. Fellows, men. And it's funny because, uh, what's his name, Jehovah's? When he said, you know, the first thing I come home, that first thing I'm going to sacrifice, and he sacrificed his daughter. She and her fellows. Thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wondered at. Those are the fellows. Now whether those fellows are, whether that's friendship, or maybe other women, but here it's men. For they are men wondered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant, the capital branch. Isaiah 4 2. This is the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ to God, called a branch. Branches bear the fruit, they hold the fruit. They have the lead, which carries the light, and that other scientific stuff. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua. Upon one stone shall be seven eyes. Kind of weird stone. What is that? I have no idea. Absolutely have no idea. Do you know an imitation of that somewhere? Very closely related, especially to poor people. It's on the back of your dollar bill. A stone with one eyeball. Behold, I will engrave the engravings thereof, saith the Lord of hosts. And I remove the iniquity of the land in one day. When Jesus Christ sits upon David's throne, all the iniquity of that land is gone. The branch will be settled. Now, what about the, the stone here? <laughs> right, I'm sure. There's a lot of things that Zacharias like, whew. 
four horns, four carpenters, a red guy, and I mean, red guy, a guy in a red horse, myrtle trees. In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, shall ye call every man his neighbor under the vine, under the fig tree. And that closes that chapter. Woo, wee. Zechariah has 10 visions and Joshua the high priest is number five. Number six is Jehovah's servant, the branch. Now that branch is Jesus Christ. So it's all about Jesus. It's all about the Jews. It's all about, there it is.